What is up everybody and welcome back to the meth review area and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Bravo Concealment Torsion 2.0 inside the waistband holster for the M&P 2.0 compact 4 inch. Welcome back to the meth review area. Today, I'm bringing you a video about the Bravo Concealment Torsion 2.0 inside the waistband holster. I've been carrying a gun since June of 2018, and right now it's January of 2019. For basically the first five months of carrying a gun, I carried in a Bravo Concealment 2.0 Torsion holster. And uh, this is what it looks like inside the waistband. As you might be able to tell, I wear my gun almost exactly at 12 o'clock with this holster. Uh, the barrel is slightly over to the left, not quite at 12, but that centers up the grip, which allows a great purchase of the gun. Um, you have to get a great purchase on this gun because it does take a little bit to pull out the M&P 2.0 straight out of this holster. I'll put the gun down there for a second and pull out just the holster here. So <clears throat> the holster is actually super nice. It comes with these like blocking like clips and let's see if I can show you here see how these clips meet and um, they don't just fold over on one side they also have this little tab underneath you can see there's a tab and it's like teeth and they lock in and bite on each other and that way um, you won't be able to pull the holster out off the belt when you go to pull the gun uh, you can also see really really nice vacuum molding um, onto here. I know that uh, Bravo Concealment uses plates to make their holsters. So they have a plate with all these uh, cutouts and they lay down the material, suck it down, and it looks really nice. As you can see on my gun here, um, I'll show you the back of the holster there and I'll show you what the actual, so there's that. And look, I mean it's practically all the same. You can see that. I mean it is a perfect fit. You can hear that click retention here nice snap and it comes out real nicely as well uh, I have really enjoyed carrying this holster um, especially because I didn't know any better it's my uh, first holster um, that I ever purchased because this is the first gun that I have uh, ever carried so um, how about I take this down to tabletop and we talk about some of the features of the Bravo Consumer Holster. Um, and here, actually, before we do that, why don't I just show you how this thing prints. So printing in a dress shirt is usually pretty much a non-issue anyway, uh, just because of the flowiness of the shirt. Uh, but even in a lighter shirt, you should be able to see some printing. But just because the way that the torsion works is that uh, there is a little bit of shape to this holster that is pulling the grip back in towards my stomach a little bit. There's the end of the grip right there. So the gun outline right here. Let's see if you can, I'll give you a spin, see if you can tell if there is anything. All right, and that is with the 15 round mag in. So I'm gonna go ahead and change mags to the full size 17 rounder. Just make sure not to pinch here. And there, you might be able to see it a little bit more. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but there's the end and you can see that. So it does a pretty good job of tucking that grip back in, but the 17 does seem to be a little long. And I'll show you in a t-shirt here just in a second. Okay, so now I'm back in a uh, t-shirt from the gun shop that I actually uh, bought this firearm from. And um, as you can see here, I, it is a lighter colored t-shirt. Lighter colors tend to print more than darker colors, or at least it's more noticeable. As you can see here, that is obviously the grip of the gun. Um, I, like I said, I like to keep it a little more centered, there you can see. But if I'm just walking casually, almost nobody uh, knows that I have a firearm with this holster. Um, and that is the full size grip. So let's go ahead and look at, or the full size magazine with the grip extension. So let's go ahead and swap it out. And that is a lot less printing there, definitely. Um, and I can walk, and I can bend, and I can do all the things I need to, high knees, I bend over, pick something up, whatever I need to do. Um, this holster here, the Torsion 2.0, uh, at the 12 to, I don't know, like 11 o'clock position, uh, works really well for me. I forced myself to appendix carry when I first got a gun, um, and I feel like that's been super helpful. And one thing to keep in mind about this holster is that it can be worn at basically any position you could set it up 
back here at the four o'clock position. Um, again, that's not as easy uh, when your pants are already done. But I'll go ahead and just drop that sucker in there for you so you can get a good look. So there's that. I think on the small of the back printing is a little more so, but still, we have a gun. And I'm not used to carrying like that at all, so I'll leave that to the professionals. Again, I forced myself to learn how to appendix carry with this holster and this gun, um, and I don't regret that at all. And then just for anybody out there that doesn't believe me that sitting with one of these appendix um, carry rigs on uh, it is comfortable, literally all you have to do is just come into your seat. Uh, I'd always just pick up my belt a little bit, that way the gun gets into the point where it folds, and now we're sitting here, right? And even the draw from sitting is really good. So we can put it right back in, sit right back up, and I can sit here uh, forever. So guys, chances are if you're watching this video, um, you're already probably a gun person or you're getting into guns. And uh, Bravo, or, yeah, Bravo Concealment has already launched a 3.0 version of their torsion holster. Uh, but from what I understand, that is more configured to be an outside the waistband on the belt holster. Um, but I'm not an expert in that. I highly encourage you to go check that out. Only a review on the 2.0 torsion holster. So I'm going to go ahead and put the gun over here and we're just going to talk about some of the features of this. Uh, first of all, um, I'm not sure if this is a kydex, but it definitely is a very strong polymer material um, and it has worked out really well. Um, one thing I noticed is that uh, when wearing it, um, I was sitting long periods of the day um, in a car and then I would get out frequently, move stuff out. I was a delivery driver and um, if that gives you a clue and so I was wearing this again at the 12 to 11 o'clock position up in front every day I never had a single person notice I was carrying a gun um, and when I would sit down I'd just hike up my pants a little bit which would allow me to bend at the waist um, and this was almost never uncomfortable unless I hadn't uh, you know situated properly or I, I was doing something dumb um, when I was wearing it it was over the summer and it was pretty hot out so um, I was getting quite a bit of sweat um, and this sweat guard did a great job of uh, protecting uh, the gun. I never got any rust or um, any a lot of sweat on this gun. Some did collect more on the on the rear but the sweat guard did its job um, and I noticed that uh, not a lot of sweat collected on the holster so that was super nice. Um, another thing I'll say about the holster is that you don't really have to worry about retention at all. Uh, like you already heard, there is that super good click retention. So I'll show you again. Click, and I mean, I could wiggle this thing all day here. Um, I'm not holding on. You will get a little wiggle back and forth, up and down, almost none. Um, and when it's in your pants, you don't have to worry about it. Um, this is a heavier gun, uh, especially when it's fully loaded, um, so I wouldn't be uh, gung-ho to go running with it or anything, uh, but I imagine the holster would hold up just fine. It's just um, whether or not I personally felt comfortable doing it. The belt clips are freaking awesome. I never worried about these breaking. Um, I think maybe when I brushed up against something, they like caught on something once and I was worried and I heard it snap back, uh, but absolutely nothing wrong with these belt clips. They're awesome. I wish everybody that made holsters used belt clips like this. Um, of course, this is my first of two holsters. Um, and like I said, I forced myself to learn how to appendix carry uh, with this right up in the front. There's no wing or anything. There's just that kind of nice curve that for that for that torsion. Uh, so you have your belt running through, which kind of sucks it down into it. So there's the grip, sucks down kind of into your uh, waistline if you're wearing an appendix. Um, fits around inch and a half belts. Um, it's funny, I went out and I bought a uh, Blue Alpha Gear hybrid EDC belt um, because I was like, yeah, that's what all the core viewers are wearing. And I went out and I bought that and I tried wearing my gun on my hip uh, for the first day and I was like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely killing me. I was like, this is the worst. So I tried appendix um, and that was a little more manageable for me. And it's funny because just the other day I was already wearing a leather belt just a cheap old leather belt uh, that I put a um, belt buckle on and I threw this thing on there at the hip position um, and man was it comfortable uh, so 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that if you aren't thinking that you want an appendix carry, um, that a leather belt that's an inch and a half and, and type gun belt is going to be um, a little more comfortable on the hip than uh, one of the cool um, Cobra rigger belts or uh, whatever you see a lot of the YouTubers um, like myself now running. Um, so we talked about retention, super great. Uh, we talked about this awesome vacuum molding that they have, super great. Um, there, there's no bends, no scratches, no cracks, no breaks. Like I said, this thing has um, been worn a lot in, in the past five months. Um, and I like it a lot. Um, no complaints. Trigger guard protects the trigger super well. Never been real worried about that. Um, I do carry around in the chamber um, all the time, and uh, I never have any worry about this um, holster causing the gun to malfunction. Um, and if you want to, real quick, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm carrying now, and I'll show you kind of why I like these clips. So since I taught myself how to do appendix carry, um, of course I want to take advantage of kind of that extra room and flexibility up front uh, by running a sidecar holster. Um, so that is what I'm choosing to do now. Um, if you just want to look at it, uh, this is what I learned on, right? And this took up a lot less space uh, in the front of my pants. As you can see right there, um, you lose the wing and uh, that, that takes up a lot of space there in your, your belt line. Um, and then this whole uh, sidecar type extra mag um, slot takes up a lot of space in the waistband too. So this is what I learned on. And as you can see, these clips, right, they have this really cool locking mechanism, like I said here, this little bite in here, and that makes sure that your belt doesn't pull through. Um, these clips don't have that. Uh, and so I have noticed that your belt can slide underneath there. So great job. Bravo Concealment, I uh, really appreciate that. Um, also, the retention here, super good as well, uh, but it's not quite as firm of a click as the Bravo Concealment holster. So guys, I would say um, that if you just got a gun uh, and you're looking for an inside the waistband or outside the waistband holster, not that I have used their outside the waistband holsters, uh, but this is, this is probably um, just a great one. Uh, I've seen on their social media accounts that uh, every uh, Bravo Concealment holster has a lifetime warranty. Whether you buy it from somebody else, you get it from a buddy, you get it as a gift, uh, the lifetime warranty follows the holster. So if something goes wrong with it, you ship it back. If they can't fix it, they'll give you a free one, maybe even an updated one. Um, they also always have really cool packages, it looks like, of being able to get an inside the waistband and an outside the waistband holster at a discounted price. You find out which one you like and then send whichever one you don't like back or keep them both uh, for a rainy day. So I would say anytime you buy a new gun, go ahead and just order yourself a Bravo Consumer Holster. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Um, mine's not going anywhere because this right here isn't always going to be fun to lug around. Um, it takes up a lot of space. This right here, uh, again, I mean, um, it, it's not perfect because I like the extra round count, um, but as far as I'm concerned, these clips are absolutely perfect. The retention's great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this holster. I really wanted to check something else out um, that was just a little bit more unique, um, but as far as um, the quality and, and craftsmanship of these Bravo Concealments, they're super good. Uh, they come highly recommended by me. So uh, please go check out Bravo Concealment. Um, drop a like on this video. Comment, tell me what you're running in the Bravo Consumer Holster. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you next time.